Well, good morning everyone. Today is Monday, September 19th. And uh, giving you guys another update on the patch. Uh, you can see that <laughs> some of these are doing really well still. Uh, you know, the Big Macs and the, the fairy tales. Uh, I ended up cutting pretty much everything off uh, so I can let everything start to ripen. Uh, I'll show you guys what I got over here. So, here you see the three Jardels that I've already cut. The last one I cut off was the biggest one. And then here you see my, my fairy tales, what I ended up with. Uh, this one is really heavy. I'm definitely, uh, I'm positive it's over 30 pounds. I was gonna weigh it, but my scale was broken, so I gotta go buy a new one. But uh, anyways, these are all really good size too. That's my smallest one. Um, you can see it's starting to get their, their coloring. Uh, this is my Connecticut field. That's the, the Howden. Uh, that's another Connecticut field, Connecticut field, and look at that monster. That's a nice one. That one I bought from the store. <laughs> I did not grow it. Uh, I want, you know, I wanted a really big pumpkin I can carve, and um, they were only six dollars at Vons, so I said, eh, why not? So, just to give you a size comparison, that's one that you would buy in the store. These are the two that I grew. So, this one's not far off from that one, but uh yeah and then the big max so you can see that it's uh definitely coloring up it's gotten a little bit bigger not much but you know you see the size comparison it's big uh it's, it's heavier than the fairy tale so you know i'm guessing it's over 30 pounds too uh, i really want to weigh it um but you can see all this the powdery mildew is, is showing up pretty good i mean i'm not really like uh tanner said i'm not really worried about it it's really really late in the season whatever i can get out of it great but uh you know there's no sense in me trying to fight it right now you know you see the it's got it over here too but uh i did pollinate another big max over here on the main vine and uh i don't know it's uh it's yellow like the other one but it's got green spots all you know all around it i don't know what that means but this plant has been growing really steadily though i mean last week it was you know right here it's you know shooting out this way um as you can see i cut a lot of leaves off you know there we are in the pile over there uh, they're just really bad with powdery mildew but uh I was hoping the plants would fire back up, you know, get their second wind. And sure enough, uh, they have. Here's the Connecticut field. You see the the leaves are really nice and green. You see the stem. You see where it was old over there, it starts to get over here, and then you got new growth where that light green color is all throughout here. There's actually a little baby pumpkin in there. Uh, let's come over here. I see this new growth here on the secondary vine, and here's the main vine over here. You know, it's taken off. It's really cool. Here's another baby pumpkin, and then here's uh, the side runners, secondary vines. So it's 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 growing again. It's good. Here's the fairy tale, and uh, aha, baby pumpkin. So, there, uh, I may get more pumpkins out of this. Uh, as long as I can let another Connecticut field set before October 1st, that way I'll have enough time to grow it. Uh, if not, then I don't think I'll stand a chance. But, uh, you know, I'll give it a shot. I don't want to give up. And here's a, the other fairy tale. There's another pumpkin growing. So uh, the fairy tales, I don't care if they pass October. They're for eating anyways. 
So the more I can get out of these plants, the less I'll have to buy them at the store for $10 a piece. And then let's come over here. There's a fairy tale I pollinated yesterday. And you know, it's growing more. So it's growing, they're growing fast now that I cut off all the pumpkins. You can see it's sending out tertiary vines all along the main, the secondary vine. <laughs> Here's another one. There's a jar of dill that opened up, uh, but there were no male flowers open, so yeah, kind of screwed. I'll have to wait for the next one to open up. But, uh, you know, you can see the patch has definitely died back a bit. I'm not too worried though. Uh, he's, you know, mostly still healthy. They're still producing. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Ooh, we have mushrooms. It means my fungi are, are growing. Uh, da -da -da -da. What else? I mean, yeah, I, that's, that's basically it. Yeah, uh, there's not much more to say. Uh, you can see, you know, I'm happy with what I got, what I got, what I got so far. But uh, I'm hoping to get a few more. You know, I can't wait to crack this thing open. Uh, da -da -da. Let's see my tomatoes. Yeah, they're they're pretty much done. You know, this stem right here cracked. This one here cracked. But uh, the tomatoes are still growing. <laughs> I'm just let, I'm not even watering them anymore. I'm just letting everything ripen and, and die back. So, so my indigo rose I'm taking a little bit longer to ripen because there's no leaves. Cherokee purples. Black crims. That black crim over there collapsed under its own weight. It broke all of the stakes that I had, you know, to tie it up. It just completely fell over, but uh, it didn't break. It just bent. It just bent at the at the base, so it's still growing. So I figured, okay, I'll just let it grow like that because it had a lot of tomatoes on there. So. Yeah, there's my black cream over there. I mean, uh, Cherokee purple. Not looking so good. There's a, a rat that's been coming at night, uh, nibbling on the same tomato. Again, he went for the biggest one. Why do they always go for the biggest one? I don't get it. It's like they know. Uh, so I haven't seen any more mice. That's good. Uh, Whoo. That's it, okay? Any questions, comments, let me know. But I, you know, plan to keep these pumpkins going as long as possible. I mean, that being the Jardale and the fairy tale, since, you know, they're not for Halloween. But Big Max, I'm not, I'm not sure if that one's gonna make it, you know. But uh, I'm happy with the one I got over there, even though it's not even, not even half of what I wanted it to be. But, you know, can't complain. It's the first time I grow it. And it's not bad considering the fact that it died at the base, you know, where it comes out of the tire. And that's all just from being buried, in, you know, from the secondary vines. So, yeah, can't complain. All right. Thanks, everyone.